Hello, friends. So let's uh, discuss about an interesting, really, really interesting topic. And that is about uh, the world of uh, decentralized finance. Okay, so, uh, so based on the last video, I don't know whether you have watched it or not. Uh, so I posted a, peak, uh, a video a few, I think few days or last week. It is about decentralized finance and uh, what kind of a potential is there in decentralized finance. And that's a humongous opportunity out there. But now in this video, we'll talk about, uh, you know, maximizing your return. We are talking about, uh, there are a lot of people who messaged me uh, asking about how exactly you can make money or what kind of a money is there. And, uh, you know, because the last video was about how you can be your own bank. Now, today, I will show you how, that is, uh, you know, when your uh, investment in your bank is eroding, that means the value of your investment is coming down, okay? If whatever the money you have kept in, you know, it's depreciating in value based on the inflation. If the inflation is at uh, oh, 6 7% now, I think uh, in the, most of the countries now, um, experiencing around 7% uh, inflation, what does that mean? So that means... Uh, the money what you have, that means if you had 100, uh, 100 dollars, 100 uh, pounds, 100 rupees or whatever euros, whatever the currency you are, if your country is experiencing 7% uh, inflation, that means, uh, you know, in a year, that value of your 100 dollars, that means the purchasing power of that 100 dollars is uh, going to be depreciated and it will become only 93 dollars. Okay, so that means the value, uh, you know, it's no more the worth $100, but it will be worth $93. And if the inflation continues the way it is now, um, then, you know, it will depreciate further. So what is the solution then? Okay, so solution is definitely not to keep, you know, again, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This is what is my opinion, or this is what I think, or it's, this is only for the educational purpose. This is not a financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. So if uh, your uh, you know, money in the bank is not generating any return, which in most of this Western world, if you see that doesn't create any return, um, absolutely 0.00 or 0.1% or something like that, you get, get an investment return. So you must be thinking, okay, what are the options then? Well, options are investment, okay? What kind of an investment, okay? Most popular investments, uh, you know, um, stocks and shares, people know about it. You are, um, uh, you know, you must be contributing to any fund, uh, you know, um, uh, 401k in the United States, uh, you know, in uh, any mutual funds in India or, uh, you know, in the UK, uh, you know, there are multiple, uh, you know, SIP and, uh, you know, um, investments where, uh, you know, uh, you do not have to pay any any um, interest on on the return on investment. But have you seen the stock market now? Probably stock market is dipping down as well. Again, it's quite volatile, as you know. You know, it's going up and down and all. But it's quite volatile. Okay, um, it's um, you know post pandemic it was surged up and then you know it's going through a bit of uh, you know down and then it will go up as well I, i'm not saying so in a long run if you are investing in um, uh, let's say snp 500 probably snp 500 will uh, you know um, S&P 500, those of you who do not know, it's standard for, uh, you know, 400, uh, you know, uh, top listing uh, listed companies in, uh, uh, in the in New York Stock Exchange, I guess, if I'm not wrong, or NASDAQ, I'm not sure, uh, you know, one of those, but uh, top uh, S&P 500, top 500 companies, okay? So that means uh, these, this fund, what you'll be investing in, you know, it will track these uh, performance of these companies. So that in a way is good investment, uh, you know, as a, uh, as a matter of fact, you'll see that over a period of time, it starts to grow, you know, in a long run, um, but in a short term, you know, it will be volatile up and down, but eventually it will grow. So it will make money. Or the second investment is uh, investment in uh, property. 
Okay, the properties are also a very good investment. Uh, I know I am a big believer in investment in properties. Real estate is a physical thing, not like uh, you know a virtual thing like you know stocks and shares. But again, property investments. Um, it's uh, you know not really a hands off strategy like uh, you know uh, investment in stocks and shares but uh, you know it is a, it is a good strategy as well because over a period of time you'll see that the property prices also go up and uh, you know you will have the opportunity of leveraging okay which is an exciting exciting thing in uh, in the world of finance that, that means you can take a loan and then you can play with that and the appreciation you can get benefit out of the appreciation so that means just take the money on a certain amount of uh, a percentage of loan let's say you are paying to the bank uh, you know on a housing loan let's say three percent four percent different countries have different different percentages uh, but if your appreciation of the value of the uh, property is much more than that okay then they are what the interest you are paying out of your loan uh, you know you are leveraging that and you are making it grow and making money out of it that's an amazing strategy as well property investment you know but we are talking about another beautiful strategy as well which is uh, you know decentralized finance so that means uh, assets could be digital asset and physical asset okay so that means i consider uh, real estate as a physical asset even stocks and shares i consider as physical asset as well um and that means uh, you know there is uh, a, you know a kind of an existence of companies people and all so but a digital asset is uh, you know can be different ways uh, you know so that means if uh, you know you can make money out of your investments uh, you know that is more kind of a physical investment of of your of your uh, money in stocks and shares and uh, real estate but if you are making um, uh, money, let's take for an example, you have a product, okay? Any product, okay? And, uh, you know, you have an email list of people. So I consider email list of, let's say, you have 10,000 people or 10,000 followers on Facebook or YouTube or any, uh, any kind of a social media forum. So that means you are, um, you know, these are your digital asset. Okay, so that means that numbers, it's still a digital asset. Let's say you are in a network marketing uh, business, network marketing, uh, you know, associated with a network marketing company, you are in a network marketing business. The network what you build, okay, that is your asset. Okay, and I consider it as a digital asset. Okay, this is not a physical asset, but yeah, physically, you know, you can see the people, but you know, that network what you have built, I know it's kind of you can track it and see it online. And that network of people, you know, doesn't matter if it's on a social media platform um, or uh, in the form of an email list or in the form of a network in a network marketing company. So these are all digital assets. Now we'll move on and talk about a very, very powerful emerging digital asset, which is uh, crypto, okay, cryptocurrencies, uh, or in a way we can say it's a blockchain enabled, okay, blockchain enabled digital assets, okay, let's talk about blockchain enabled digital assets, what is a blockchain enabled digital asset? So NFTs, you must have heard about NFTs, uh, non-fungible tokens, okay? Non-fungible token means this is unique, you know, something could be unique, let's say Mona Lisa painting is unique, so that means it is a characteristic of me, which makes it unique, uh, you know, you can be the owner of that you know, NFT, okay? In a way, if you see cryptocurrencies, they are not uh, uh, non-fungible, that means they are fungible, fungible means you can exchange, so one, one one bitcoin in your hand and my hand is the same so that means that's quite fungible uh, you know you can exchange uh, you know one bitcoin for few ethereums or few other bitcoins or even uh, you can exchange it for uh, um, uh, what uh, your fiat currency as well okay so that's not uh, not fungible so this is fungible and the non fungible with nfts you know you must have heard about uh, nft markets suddenly uh, you know boomed because of you know people having a humongous interest in all those digital assets they call it digital assets that means uh, you know a crypto punk you know is uh, one of those uh, you know creator of uh, the nfts where you know millions of people are willing to buy for a 
ape, you know, the picture of an ape. I don't know why, but anyways, okay, that happened. But if you understand these assets, those, all this picture of an ape or even a cryptocurrency, okay, I can create a cryptocurrency tomorrow as well. You can create one for yourself, you know, and put it on the market as well. Okay, so these are blockchain enabled. So that means anyone can create these NFTs or, you know, these currencies. Okay, some are fungible, some are non-fungible in the blockchain world. However, okay, these, uh, you know, if there is a demand for these products, okay, so that is where, you know, um, people are willing to pay for those, these more and you can make money out of these more, okay. So uh, in the blockchain technology, so there are so many things, you know, it started with uh, Bitcoin as it, uh, it came and then it evolved and it opened the doors for a lot of other things as well, like, you know, um, you are, you are hearing about, uh, you know, a completely a new digital world called metaverse as well. Like uh, you hear about NFTs and we are talking about a finance. Okay. If you are kind of a finance enthusiast or belong to finance, finance feel just like I am, I do, I belong to. So that means this would be a quite interesting phenomenon called decentralized finance. Okay. Which, uh, cryptocurrency is a part of it, but. Uh, you know, cryptocurrency, most of people know about cryptos are investment strategies. That means you you just buy it and hold it. And it when it skyrockets, you know, oh, I missed this opportunity. I should have invested in cryptos. Okay, that's not the strategy you are talking about. That is definitely one strategy, just like stocks and shares. You know, that skyrockets as well, you know, uh, and um, you, you could uh, make money if you have invested in right stocks and shares. But we are talking about a decentralized finance whereby not the strategy of you owning an asset, which is could be um, a cryptocurrency, okay? Uh, we're not talking about that or owning an NFT, okay? And wait for, uh, you know, uh, Elon Musk to tweet and then it goes up or uh, wait for, uh, you know, El Salvador uh, declaring uh, NFT, uh, declaring a blockchain or, uh, you know, Bitcoin, recognizing blockchain or Bitcoin or cryptocurrency as their official currency. And then it surges up, the value goes up. And then next day, Mark Cuban um, loses money in crypto and then it goes down. So, you are, we are not talking about those kind of, uh, you know, that straight strategy, okay? It is, again, a good strategy as well, that this is also a digital asset. That means you buy it and you can hold it and it, it, it goes uh, and grows. And the only thing, um, a good thing about some cryptocurrencies as well, you have to be very sure what kind of a cryptos you are, you are investing in because some cryptos as well, they are limited in a circulation. Okay, so that means that makes it scarce. Okay, so that means just like, for example, uh, Bitcoin is limited, okay, in circulation, I think 21 million, I guess, uh, I may be wrong, but yeah, um, this is, it is limited, but, uh, you know, not all the cryptos or very few cryptocurrencies in the circulation are limited in quantity. That means they can, you can mint as much as you want. If that is the case, then, you know, it becomes kind of volatile um, or, you know, you can, um, uh, you know, uh, inflation wise, uh, you know, you can, if you need to mint more, you mint more, or if you want to take it out of the circulation, you just burn more currencies, uh, you know, so that's, that's, they are just like fiat currency, as you can see, the inflation is so high because of governments, uh, you know, or the central banks, uh, you know, pumping a lot of money into the economy, that means printing money, as they say, you know, but let's say, that is one strategy of decentralized finance or blockchain world called, uh, you know, buy the digital asset, okay, or cryptos and hold on to it, okay. Now, the other strategy which is emerging and which is, which grew so fast and so big, that is called the uh, decentralized finance or in short, it's called DeFi as we discussed in our earlier video before. If you haven't watched it, I would suggest that to go and watch it again. And if you're watching on YouTube channel, just make sure you, um, you know, hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't want to miss out on these opportunities, which is cutting edge. So, so these are the uh, ways uh, if you understand and you leverage uh, these, uh, you know, opportunities and you know how it works, then you can do your own research and you may decide to get involved in this business, uh, you know, or, or in this uh, investment strategies. Okay, so 
Now let's talk about decentralized finance and how can you make 175% return on investment? Okay, never heard of. No, no, 175%. This is less, guys. Okay, I can show you, or I will be showing you much higher return, 1000%, 5000% return. You must be wondering, this guy has gone crazy. Okay, yes, it, he is the crazy wild, wild west, as they say, um, of decentralized finance. Okay, now again, this is take it as educational purpose video. Do not take it as a financial advice and go ahead and uh, you know lose all your money there. Okay, do not do not do that. Do your own research and uh, you know make sure you understand this. Okay. So because this is for educational purpose so that you understand and the mind is open and so many things are happening around you, you should make yourself familiarize with all the happenings, okay? So now how does that work? Decentralized finance or DeFi and how you can make so much of return, okay? Let's talk about it, okay? Where this money is coming from, okay? Now this money is coming from your banks. <laughs> what does that mean? So that means the banks where you are saving, okay, these are humongous, uh, you know, financial institutions like banks and insurance companies and uh, uh, stock exchanges, uh, you know, and investment, uh, you know, banking companies, okay. Um, you know what, you know, these fund managers and you know, all these people, they are, are rewarded quite heftily because they have your money and uh, we don't understand how to invest, where to invest, okay? We are so busy in uh, uh, making the money that we don't know how to make the money work for us, okay? So that is where it is. And that's why the reason why we said, okay, where do I invest? I have some money, I invest in uh, stocks and shares. Oh, I have some investment, I want to put it in um, you know, property. Okay, investment is really good, but you have also have to, I guess, you, we all have to understand how the finance model works and how you can get the most out of our investments, okay? So now, this money was inherently going to the, uh, uh, you know, big banks, okay? And they were, they are still, you know, they are big and, uh, you know, uh, they make money uh, by what? By, uh, you know, lending it out to people. So that means if you borrow money, from uh, your bank account, you will always find the interest that they will charge if you keep the same money in with them, the interest what they give you, it's much, much lesser than the interest they charge you, okay? And uh, that is what is their profit because banking is a pure profitable financial business. They are, they are doing a business there, okay? So now, in a decentralized finance world, you can be your own bank. Okay, so what does that mean? So that means uh, whatever the banks were doing, you are able to do that. So that means you can also invest your fund, your money in wherever you see a greater return on investments. Okay, now in this world of cryptos on this world of blockchain, okay, blockchain enabled. So what is, what is blockchain as you, uh, if you haven't uh, watched the video, again, I go back and watch uh, the other video on YouTube, on Facebook as well, we have, uh, we are posting it all where, everywhere, um, you will understand about uh, what is blockchain and how is it different, uh, uh, you know, uh, to cryptos, that means cryptocurrencies are, you know, uh, the technology behind it is blockchain technology, okay, this is a hashing technology, if you are into IT, you understand it more, it's just, you know, unique code, which connects, uh, you know, a bunch of transactions together with uh, hash technologies, unique hash connectors, so that becomes a humongous blocks, which are uh, hosted in multiple nodes, what is an what are nodes, nodes are, you know, servers or the systems or storage devices, okay, uh, 24 seven, you know, they are, um, they are, um, uh, you know, on, okay, processing data and uh, doing multiple, uh, uh, complex calculations, okay. Um, now that's, uh, you know, different kinds of staking, uh, you know, we all discuss about those staking to, uh, you know, to today, but, you know, so these are blockchain enabled, uh, you know, uh, technologies, okay, DeFi is blockchain enabled, where there is uh, no bank, central bank, used to keep the record of, okay, how much you deposited and how much is the interest you are, uh, you know, uh, you are payable, okay? So now all these information is uh, stored in multiple 
computers or multiple uh, nodes, they say, okay, uh, multiple devices, multiple servers all around the world. That is called a network. Okay, so this is a network. So blockchain, you know, comes with a network. That means, uh, you know, in a blockchain world, okay, the computers are because we are having internet everywhere. So if you are having internet, okay, all the computers are connected, okay, through the internet. So now on top of that, they built the blockchain enabled technology whereby the record keeping is uh, kept online in different computers, okay, the same uh, uh, transactions copies are recorded, okay, that is called um, blockchain, okay. So uh, that means a block of transactions, a record of transaction, a ledger of transactions, uh, you know, um, which are all connected, okay, that's blockchain, okay. So, now let's understand uh, then you must be waiting that, okay, how can I show me the money and how can I make this kind of a return? Is this, is this real? Is this possible? Okay, I want you to do your own analysis to see if it's possible. I'll show you the websites and show you how, okay, um, uh, it is uh, all put together and how it works. So that means how can be, you can be your own bank, okay, and you can lend out money. Okay, and you can make money because in order for you to make money out of your money, the money what you hold, then you have to think about investment. Okay, and where exactly you would be investing, okay, is where you see the good, good return. Okay, and this world of a DeFi is what we'll be exploring. Okay, so let me just show you now one of those. Uh, uh, one of those websites, okay, where um, um, so there are so many platforms. So where will you get all this information? I will, I will show you all these. Okay. So now, if you go to um, uh, let's let me just share the screen and then I will show you how it all works. Okay. So uh, if I could show you the um, the website here. So now you will be able to find out more on the, if I may share my screen, okay. So, uh, okay, you see here, okay, this is a protocol called, you know, um, app.anchorprotocol.com, okay. Now you see that my pays, earn, borrow, um, you know, this is uh, a bonded asset and governance, okay? So now let's talk about what is Anchor, okay? Let's talk about, uh, you know, this uh, briefly about Anchor Protocol, okay? So Anchor pro Protocol is, okay, um, well, what is a protocol? Protocol, as you know, if you, if you understand this meaning of the word, uh, you know, protocol, you know, the English meaning is, uh, you know, a set of rules, set of guidelines, okay, that, that becomes a protocol, okay. So all in a, in a, in a um, online digital world, okay, decentralized finance world, so protocols are, you know, kind of a code, okay, based on which, you know, certain um, business is going to operate. So the one which I showed you, the anchor protocol, okay, this is just an example, just to show you anchor protocol is uh, a Terra, okay, blockchain uh, protocol, okay. What is a Terra blockchain, okay? Now, you must have heard about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is one network, okay. So, or a one blockchain. So, like Bitcoin, you have other blockchains as well. There are so many blockchains, okay. And Terra is one amongst them, okay. So, let's take for an example, if you can Google it, let's say T-E-R-R-A, -R -R Terra Network, okay? So let me just give you an example so that you understand, uh, you know, powering innovation of money, okay? So now if you see here, Terra Money, so you'll see that, okay? Programmable money for internet. Now this is again one of it. Okay, there are so many. I'll just give you an example. Okay, so Terra. Okay, so now if you want to know more about them and uh, you know how it started, how they are kind of a you know decentralized money. They're talking about DeFi decentralized uh, you know money at the heart of open financial ecosystem. You can learn more about it. Uh, you know just by playing this video. It's an amazing video. It talks about uh, you know uh, the evolution of Terra and what kind of a people behind it. It's a very 
very interesting thing okay so i will i will let you this is a, again the founder is a south korean okay south korea based uh, you know uh, uh, okay so let me just uh, close it uh, okay right so um so you understood that okay terra uh, in uh, from this terra if you go to ecosystem then you will find out that there are multiple you know you know it's talking about the network okay terra and luna ecosystem luna is their currency okay so now if you see here in that ecosystem okay so there are mirror protocol anchor protocol terra swap so that means all of these are different financial protocols again what is are the protocols what does that mean so that means that these are different kind of uh, uh, services okay and um, and uh, these are based on certain codes okay which are been uh, you know written for uh, people to take leverage out of it, okay? So Terra is one amongst them. So uh, like Terra, there are so many, I will uh, give you uh, a synopsis of kind of a, what kind of networks are there? So you see all these, uh, so these are, you know, just to give you an idea of these are some of the major networks, okay? Binance or BSC, Binance, Heco, Avalanche, some of the popular ones, uh, you know, um our phantom polygon is very popular one and aurora is very popular avalanche is very popular as well and binance or bsc is very popular as well but there are so many of them they are evolving they keep coming up with uh you know so many networks so that means i'm just talking about one of the networks okay which is even um terra network is not listed here as well because you know i am in a, another website called beefy finance and beefy finance uh, they do not deal with because terra have their own kind of uh, you know uh, ecosystem okay where they have their as you as you as you saw here so they have their own different uh, you know um protocols where you know you can invest uh, money and and uh, you know see if you can get a good return there are so many of them okay so you can go to one of those little white well protocol example. so you can so i'm just going and exploring just one amongst them called anchor protocol okay and then this anchor protocol what you see here okay let me show you how much if you click on earn you see that apy what is the interest apy 19.48 percent apy what does that mean so that means if you deposit your money in anchor you get 19.48 percent return on your investment apy annual percentage yield okay that is what your return is guys okay and they have kept it like that for such a long time now i think over a year now it is close to around 20%, 20% return, okay? That is amazing, isn't it? So how do you put it uh, all the money? So you just have to connect your uh, wallet. That is not the topic of discussion today, but if you have to, uh, your, um, you have to have a wallet like, uh, you know, Terra has their own wallet, Terra blockchain has their own wallet, digital, digital wallet, not physical one, which you carry in your pocket. And, uh, you know, you can, uh, you know, um, invest UST, that is uh, their, um, uh, their money or their, their stable currency. Okay, what is a stable currency again? Stable currency or stable coin is, uh, you know, pegged against dollar value. So that means one US dollar or USD is, uh, you know, Terra Network stable currency is UST, which is, uh, uh, you know, um, and their stable currency. So that means it's kind of a one is to one, but again, it is traded. So that means the value fluctuates. That means just like the way your dollar value fluctuates, uh, you know, every time against other currencies, okay, let's say dollar versus euro, dollar versus pounds, exactly the same way, you know, this also fluctuates. Okay, what fluctuates are the uh, you know the value of US dollar to uh, you know USD, but it's roughly or close to one dollar okay one is to one ratio okay so now you understand that i hope it made sense and you opened your eyes um about the investment or return what you are making 19.48 percent okay return okay so you can just deposit your money and you not only that let's talk about it borrow 
So you can borrow, okay? That is no KYC, know your customer, okay? KYC requirement here, unlike a bank, when you want to borrow, you have to give them thousands of documents. You don't have to do that. But is it safe? Okay, you are, uh, uh, you know, taking money or you're depositing your money here. Uh, is it safe? Well, the decentralized finance, the way it works, as we discussed earlier, it is not centralized. So that means uh, it is, uh, you know, something which is on a blockchain. Okay, so every transactions you can see, it is not stored by, you know, the this anchor protocol guy, you know, or the, this is not a centralized company. So that means whatever you, they are just facilitator. Okay. They, they came up with the coin or this protocol, but your transaction, the transaction it goes through is hosted in multiple different nodes all around the world. Okay. So you can, you can check it as well anytime to see, uh, you know, your, your transactions online. Okay. But is there, is it a safe that, okay, it, it will be, you know, you will be making that kind of, a, you know, a return always. Okay. This return, what I saw, 19.48, after an hour, it may be 19.45. Next hour, it may be 19.87, maybe 20.21. It is all dependent. Again, no one is uh, deciding this rate. It is all decided based on, if you see here, there is a dashboard they have given. So you can see everything is visible, clear you know, online, total value locked. So that kind of a UST, as you did, uh, said earlier, UST is their stable currency. This ecosystem stable currency is UST, okay? So that is around uh, you know, $15 billion, okay? Now that is uh, quite a lot, okay? Um, and... Uh, Total deposit, total collateral. Okay, Do, that means these are this is their asset. People have deposited this kind of a money, and people have put collateral, put as a collateral uh, to take loan uh, of this value. So together, are fifteen billion dollars. Okay, now yield reserve. So that means uh, the reserve, which is uh, you know giving people yield or creating creating um, uh, the return on in their investments. Okay. So it is all there, ANC buyback in the last 72 hours. ANC is uh, their, you know, anchor networks. ANC is anchor, you know, this is their own um, uh, token, okay? ANC token, they say, okay? So in UST value, okay? So now total deposits and total borrowing. So that means this kind of a money has been deposited, but this kind of, a, uh, you know, um, money is, uh, been borrowed okay so now now you see that uh, you know all these things are all here you can go through it total collateral value how much the collateral value has gone down so everything is transparent you can see it all here okay and the performance as well how is uh, how is it going how this uh, collateral is going down and going up and all, all those things okay so Hope it made sense to you guys about, uh, okay, um, this is the conversion of, uh, you know, they are kind of a token to USD, okay? So that is uh, um, that is one of their, their token, uh, a USD or anchor USD, you can say, okay? So you know now, let's talk about this exciting thing about borrowing, okay? You want some money, let's say, to borrow, just like the way you borrowed money to buy a house, you can borrow that as well, uh, you know, you put collateral, Okay, now here, as you can see, I, know I just tried uh, to uh, put some collateral to borrow something to see how it works, okay? So now you can do that as well, okay? And your borrowings are based on, so this is, you know, you decide how much you want to borrow, okay? So your borrowing limit, for example, this kind of a collateral, uh, you know, your borrowing limit, let's say it's given maybe 875, but out of that, I have borrowed, let's say 642, okay? Now that is, uh, important thing on borrowing then how much of uh, you know interest i have to pay borrow apr so that means i have to pay 13.07 percent you must say oh wow that's quite a lot so um, i you'll be paying so much okay why would you need uh, borrow no let me tell you about the other thing distribution apr so that means uh, because i put collateral okay they are making money out of that collateral that is an asset for them. And they're saying that, okay, we are going to give you 13.2% in return. 
okay based on your collateral value for the collateral what you have put in okay to borrow this amount so we are going to give you 13 but so in net you are making money <laughs> can you imagine so while you are borrowing money you are making money how much 0.12 percent you are making money when you are uh you know uh, borrowing money okay and once you borrow it as well you can deposit uh, that once you borrow you can earn as well from that so how many times you can borrow you can rotate it as many times as as possible so that means just imagine you go to a bank uh, you know uh, borrow money okay and uh, then you know whatever because the bank is going to uh, bank is giving you more uh, you know interest okay uh, interest on borrowing is a uh, uh, lesser than you know the interest uh, what the banks is giving you what do you do then so you borrow okay and then you put back you know again and you again borrow put put the money back in uh, again so but every time you put it back in means we are talking about your deposit is going up from the money of the bank okay so that is you know interesting as you know you know it is over 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 collateralizing so you can you can uh, rinse and repeat you know the borrowing cycle as well but this is just to uh, get you some idea to open your mind Op hope you had some light bulb moment of seeing that oh wow okay this is this world does it exist and that so much of money can be made okay now again take uh, all whatever i'm sharing with a pinch of salt uh, that means uh, these are not financial advice okay so your you may lose your money how you lose your money let's for example you are borrowing the maximum okay and your value of your currency you know because you you are borrowing it against you know if you go to go here you will be borrowing against uh, you know something called uh, um, b luna okay what is luna luna is their a native currency okay now, don't get confused as well. A lot of terminology I may be using native currency and stable currency or native coin and stable coin. There are two different things. Okay. Luna is kind of a real asset. Okay. So that means this is just like a Bitcoin. Okay. This is their, uh, you know, ecosystems uh, Bitcoin. Okay. That means their cryptocurrency. But V Luna is a kind of an intermediary. So that means you uh, give them a B Luna okay and you mint so that means you generate uh you know so you give them luna and they generate b luna that means uh you know uh this is bonded luna as they say b for bond bonded luna so that means what you are doing is you're depositing you're taking it out and then with the b luna you are just depositing here and uh you know as a collateral to borrow the money okay so i hope you understand the cycle okay what it follows um, and you may find tutorials as well of how exactly, you know, every step by step, I am not going through the step by step as well, uh, you know, here, but just to give you an idea of open. But what I'm saying you is, uh, you know, you may, entire money may, may be gone as well if you are over collateralized and that means you have taken a 95% loan and what happens is Luna's price crashed. Okay, so that, uh, you know, what happens here is, you know, if you see here, so when you, when the borrow usage reaches 100%, liquidation can occur at any time. Do you see that? So that means, uh, you know, whatever you are borrowing, let's say an example, your, uh, you borrowed $873, okay, um, that value you borrowed, okay. Now with a collateral of one, 1,000, one, 1,092, okay. Now what happens uh, tomorrow, the, uh, the Luna price uh, is, uh, has gone down. If Luna price goes down and it become that value, 1,092 uh, value what was before, now it, uh, it may, uh, came down to 873, what happens? You kind of uh, lost all the money. So money is gone, okay? So that means you have to keep an eye on these as well because you may lose your money. So you, should, you are not supposed to, okay? Again, not financial advice, but yeah, uh, I know what i would um, i would do is i would not okay um over collateralize and you know um take a high um, uh, loan uh, so that i may be at risk so i don't do that so now let's talk about you said that so you said about 175 percent return this is about 25 percent return guess what guys in this i'll also before i go move on to 175 percent return i just want to uh, let you know as well this world of DeFi, 
where you know i put collateral okay i put collateral by putting this uh, my luna currency okay that means you have us dollar or pound or rupees or whatever you have you take uh, you know uh, convert that into uh, uh, the luna currency just like you know bitcoin and then you know when you are staking it okay this is called staking or you know um, you are uh, kind of a putting it uh, to play for you or help you and um, then guess what you this luna price goes up okay my also asset value is going up do you understand that guys so this is an investment for me okay so my asset value is going up with this investment okay uh, because b luna as a cryptocurrency it is it is going up so let me just show you um the uh, okay so there is a website called coinmarketcap.com okay there are all the cryptos you can see how this uh, cryptos are performing here now you see i uh, you know bitcoin is at the top number one okay now the one which i, I was telling you about was okay so these are if you see uh, you know uh, tether is uh, you know um, uh, what is that called stable stable coin or stable currency okay and uh, so this is of uh, binance and you see there are so many of them okay now you see here okay number 7 okay what is the value okay market capitalization if you see here x 34 billion dollars guys 34 billion dollars okay so that means market capital 34 billion dollars and the trend is going up so if you can click on here and you can see the chart oh sorry overview okay so now you see you know how this uh, you know coin is doing okay so now this coin is uh, you know in one day it is started here it is coming down but let's say in one month time how is it going one month time okay you see that it started 56 dollar and now it is at 95 dollar is it growing absolutely okay now in three months time is it growing okay so three months time it started here and then it is a bit of volatile market but it's still you know in a three months time it has gone up to 95 from uh, 60 64 to 95 okay so definitely in your bank you are not making money so now you are making a money by staking uh, or luna the so staking means uh, you know just depositing uh, luna or collateralizing luna so you are making money out of it okay now not only that so your value is appreciating over one year you see that over a year's time how it has done you know it has done really really good okay so now not only that but what it is doing now let me just show you um, as well uh, the the screen uh, of, okay sorry i unshared it okay uh, let me bring it down come on come on okay so let's go back to anchor and let's see that okay i am borrowing money okay so i am borrowing money putting it as collateral that means my value of my luna is going up okay as uh, as uh, my value is uh, of my collateral going up i am making money there making money my asset is making money of me and then i am borrowing my fund and now with my borrowed money company is giving me money okay how much 0.13 percent i am making money because of my collateral is creating so collateral is uh, making capital appreciation happening not only capital appreciation but also this return is giving me on collateral two things and then third thing what is happening with the borrowed money okay i can invest here and i can create further money <laughs> can you imagine guys okay, how much money can be made but anyways this is just one just to tip up the iceberg guys there's so much different ways okay so now let's move on to another world okay another world called a beefy finance okay we discuss about anchor finance and beefy finance this is an aggregator there are so many aggregators as well out there okay 
Now, uh, okay, so with beefy finance, okay, this is an aggregator of a different liquidity pools. Okay, now let's understand what is a liquidity pool. A liquidity pool is, you know, a fund. You can say in a stock market world, it's a fund. Okay, so you your money is locked. So that means you are giving your dollar, pound, rupees, or whatever that is. And you are, you know, and that is represented by certain amount of, let's say you bought Apple shares, okay, certain amount of Apple share, okay. So this money and this Apple share, okay. So now your money is there, okay, money is locked. And based on the Apple value is going up, that means, you know, money is represented by the shares. And now uh, as your Apple shares is going, value is going up, that means your money is going up, okay. So that is, and that is how the investment world works, okay? So the liquidity pool is a big thing in decentralized finance where what happens here is uh, there is a pool of two different uh, currencies, okay? Two different currencies, okay? Two different uh, uh, coins or two different currencies are created in a pool. What is a pool? That means a fund is created, okay? Two different currencies. Why there are two different currencies is because, um, there are people who are because the money to the crypto world comes in terms of you know fiat money okay people have uh, pound dollar uh, uh, rupees and all those different currencies okay and that gets converted into something you know called um, stable coin or stable currency okay so then and then that stable currency is converted into luna as you, <clears throat> as you saw or ether or you know um, bitcoin there are so many different currencies out there okay so these are all split up and divided into different kinds of currencies, okay? So now if you see it's starting from fiat currency, it gets converted into, you know, well, it doesn't have to be converted into a stable currency. It's fiat currency be directly converted uh, into, you know, um, the cryptocurrency. But once this cryptocurrency is there, then, you know, these cryptos as a stand alone, uh, can uh, yield some money, as you can see, uh, you know, what we saw, uh, the Luna is yielding us some money, okay, as, as we saw there. Now that is good, but what is better is a higher percentage of return, okay? And higher percent of return is when there is a pool. So that means you are putting a Luna, you know, Luna, but there are other currencies, okay, uh, people want, against the Luna, okay? So that means these are all exchanges where it has been traded, okay? And, uh, you know, some currencies has, you know, better uh, market value and uh, people want to trade one currency for the other currency. They are looking for this currency, that. So there are so many kind of a different combination of currencies people want. That is the evolution of a concept called liquidity pool, where liquidity pool means, uh, you know, um, there are two currencies on a pool. Okay, I'll show you in a briefly as well uh, in, a, in a pool. And in that pool means equally two different currencies are, uh, you know, are stored in that pool equally. Okay, so that means let's say Bitcoin and Luna. Okay, two currencies, they are sitting inside a pool. So when you're sit sitting inside a pool means you as a liquidity provider, okay, you put the money in there you know, in these uh, two currencies, okay, and 50% and 50%, half and half, okay. So what, what are you exactly you are doing is you are giving money, okay, this is the loaning, but not loaning to one currency, you know, just like the way we saw, now we, did, we are talking about uh, two different currencies, and that is where a big opportunity comes, where unlimited, infinite, infinite amount of money could be made, okay. Again, there's a risk, risk there as well, so we'll talk about a rug pull, Okay, what is rug pull? That we'll discuss about that as well, so that you understand that you uh, what is rug pull, and you, you should try to avoid that as well. Okay, do not take financial advice from this, you know, videos. Okay, so you have to do your own research. But anyways, uh, again, this is not a financial advice as well. Okay, so as I told several times. So what exactly you are you are doing now is uh, you know uh, when you provide liquidity to the pools. And that is where a lot of money to be made. Let's let's go to this example to understand. Okay, um, okay. So now I go to Beefy Finance. You click on uh, you know here you know they launch the app. 
then this is where you go in here and you have to select the different networks. So now I am in the BSC network. Okay. What is network we discussed earlier as well. Okay. BSC network. Okay? So in the BSC network, if I click on here, now it's uh, saying that wallet connection to BSC required. Okay. So it's asking me to connect. So I'm not not uh, connecting to any wallet now just to show you, but I wanted to show you. So you can see here, DID, I'm sorry, DIBS versus BNB, okay? Now Binance as a, as a, as a coin or, uh, you know, um, as a token, okay? Um, is quite established, but probably not, uh, not the, that much as Binance uh, DIBS is. Okay, because DIBS wants, wants to popularize, okay, so that because the new currency comes in, then they do not have any market knowledge about them, okay, nobody knows about them, okay, and here comes the risk where you, if you put the investment there, okay, how much of in return they are uh, giving, 2.51 thousand percent, okay. Okay, so now if you see here, okay, um, these are in thousands of percentage, guys. Okay, six zero two four. Okay, okay. now another thing you have to understand here is uh, you know how much of TVL total value log six hundred thousand. So six hundred thousand money is logged in here in this you know combination of this pool. Okay, so uses uses pancake pancake swap is uh, you know, another uh, kind of uh, you know um, uh, liquid uh, liquidity pool or you know they they provide um, you know swapping opportunities for one coin to the other coin but if you see here 1.13 a thousand percentage okay and uh, daily you will get us uh, 0 0.6908 percentage okay daily you know every day if you make that kind of money that's really good but again what is the risk here? We have to understand this risk. Okay. Now, if you see here, guys, you know, $1.45 million has been logged here. So that means it's not a small kind of a thing as well, because it starts from, you know, 600,000 to, you know, 400,000 and all. But there are big players as well in this market, as you can see from 1,000 to there are some million as well. So where did we see million? Okay. So total value lock here is, uh, um, you know, in million, 1.45 million, okay, 1.13 thousand. So if you deposit, okay, you can make that kind of an income. Is that good or very good? I would say this is really good, okay? You can, um, again, you may lose all the money. How you can do this? rug pull? Let's talk about the rug pull here. So let's take for an example. It will ask me probably for my wallet. Okay, if they ask me, okay, wallet connection to BSC required. Okay, so let's talk about wallet connection. You can uh, use a wallet like uh, MetaMask. Uh, that's, that's the most popular. Or uh, you know, uh, Coinbase uh, also wallet is good. But if you see here, that is kind of a value lock. So that means this is not a small amount of money. But this is a combination of BUSD, LP, and there's something called a charge. I don't know about that charge, but you have to do your own research about this currency called charge, okay? So what is a rug pull is when you invest or $1.4 million has been invested, okay? And this charge, you know, people, okay? Whoever, you know, that, uh, that blockchain, uh, in this uh, same blockchain, but this coin, okay? If these uh, people have, there are maybe different ways you can do a, do a rug pull. Rug pull means your value disappears, okay? You, the entire money invested is gone for good, okay? You are not able to recover. When, when you know, the, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, this currency or this uh, token, okay? All the tokens are burnt, okay? They disappear from the market or suddenly okay because there are a lot of uh, few people are holding a lot of these currencies okay suddenly they sell off then the prices of this dips down of the charge you know the prices goes down okay let's see you know charge okay if it is listed here because uh, all these tokens and currencies are uh, kind of okay you can see your charge uh, defi okay so 
now you can see here you can do a bit of a research to find out okay you know is this uh, a real company because this is a real website you know this is entire thing is uh, all decentralized or uh, all um, uh, tokens are all listed there okay so you can see here okay how is charge doing so it is uh, you know as a as a token it's not doing uh, you know um, this is going down in a year's time but hey you are not making money out of uh, you know the currency itself but what you are making money out of is uh, is from here okay from you know the apy or the uh, providing the liquidity to it okay and then if it if it um, you know collapses okay this uh, goes down but you know you there is a chance that you may lose all your money i mean in a liquidity pool losing money um, if you have a stable currency or or a strong uh, coin which is market capitalization is very high uh, it will get converted everything will get converted into this currency okay the only thing what you will be losing out is uh, your chances of had you invested in there then you could have made more money okay so again so now you see that is kind of a money is there okay now this is a pool let's say you have one kind of an investment you want to do one product okay as something uh, one currency okay so there is another website there are so many of them as well this is on a yearn okay a y e a r n yearn finance okay so i uh, invested in a token as you see that last uh, last night itself you know i uh, i invested in a token called boo token okay now if you see in the yearn finance if you see here last night okay i mean uh, not not even uh, you know 12 hours even okay no, 7 8 uh, uh, you know 6 uh, 7 hours back i think uh, you know i invested and now you see that okay it is giving me apy of how much 174.93% apy now can you beat this i guess you can't okay because this is this is good okay now now there is also you know um, there is no pair this is a single currency and you know uh, or single token and in vaults and in uh, just how much I invested around eighty-five dollars to just to see how it works, and I have already earned point one four. Okay, that means fourteen cents has been earned on this investment. Is this possible outside? Probably not. On eight five eighty-five dollar investment, you get you know in just few hours fourteen dollar uh, sorry uh, fourteen cents. Uh, you know with an APY of seven. And this thing is another thing you have to understand here, you guys. So this is uh, you know um uh, what is that compounding interest okay if you see here it talks about that uh, it helps to manage your holding you choose the strategy capital so uh, okay so if you if you click in here so it talks about compounding as well okay this is how you invest you know decentralized exchange you know. Phantom Opera. Okay, this is Phantom Opera network. This is another network. Okay, so just like the way we discussed about, there are so many networks. Uh, you know, so what is the strategy? Okay, supply is a boo to Solidex Finance, or volatile pool to earn a solid and sex earn um, uh, tokens on harvested sold for more than boo. Okay, okay. so now you understand that total assets in a dollar is a two million. Okay, not a small amount as well. They are they have uh, collected. This is a good good amount of money. Okay, so now I hope it made some sense to you and you understand uh, the value and uh, the token and uh, how much of money can be made in these uh, platforms. Okay, that can you see? This is the APY two hundred forty five. Uh, you know, <laughs> so. All the best on your journey in decentralized finance, but this is just to open your mind uh, to all this limitless possibility. Okay. Now, with that, we are done. I hope it made some sense to you. Hope you understood the concept and uh, you know the decentralized finance. And again, as we discussed earlier, suggested earlier as well, make sure uh, you know 
to do your own risk assessment analysis, understand this concept, understand DeFi, okay? Do not, uh, because this is, uh, there is no government, because it's called decentralized. So there is uh, no one in control, okay? Uh, decentralized finance is highly, you know, kind of, uh, you know, decentralized as it says. So that means uh, in order for anyone to, uh, you know, uh, be punished, okay? It's not possible, it is not, not regulated something regulated uh, financial regu you know, services authority or financial regulator regulators are there you know to regulate the finances because uh, you know to uh, keep your money safe okay but these are not regulated okay and that is where the risk comes as well so it's always risk and reward as you know okay and exactly that is the reason why i said okay do your own research okay because um the actually the financial advice what uh, you know um, you get is from people who are regulated they are registered with uh, the financial uh, you know uh, regulators and all but this is just to show you the possibility and what is there and how you can also make uh, money in this uh, DeFi world and how it works hope it made some sense to you guys hope you liked it and you have been entertained and uh, with that We'll over and out. If you haven't subscribed, make sure on the YouTube channel you subscribe, follow on coachsomprakash.com, um, uh, coachsomprakash, uh, you know, or Somprakash TV channel. So we will until the next video. Over and out, guys. Bye bye.